I mean, uh, have a seat. along the Kyloja area once again this evening okay in a northerly direction towards Pebbles Beach so this is all a part of the Kyloja area and again I'm looking in a northerly direction towards Pebbles Beach and Brown Beach and this is the Radisson Hotel over here which was once Grand Barbados and before it was Grand Barbados it was Holiday Inn This is where it's a bridge song when you come to this capital. Yes, guys, we are in Clark Park. Is it making a bridge song? This is the country capital. And this is looking in a southern direction towards the Hilton Hotel. I don't know if you can hear the clock chime in by the clock tower at the garrison. Clock turns every 15 minutes. So the Kelsey Radisson Hotel, which was one Grand Barbados. And before it was Grand Barbados, it was the Holiday Inn. Hilton Hotel.
Central Bank of Barbados, which is in Bridgetown. And you can see the former Barbados Revenue Authority building. You can see all the Bridgetown port. And you can see the Harbor. And you can see the all up in the countryside. You can see all up in the Warrens area. And you can see all up in the all up in Kirtin and all up in St. George by the Lane and Dunhill. about to leave and go on the road side now. I'll show you guys the along the street.
Oh, Tyler, babe. Boy, Tyler, you to be big smart. No leaf, Tabas Beach. Do a walk along the Tabas Bay. Do a roadside walk. Because the video is titled Tyler Bay Land and Sea Walk. So, this is the follow the smoke bar or restaurant here. Follow the smoke. Even Pebbles Beach is situated at Aquatic Gap. And I am looking back in a southerly direction towards the Hilton Hotel, the Hilton Barbados here. Hilton Hotel. You can see the clock tower for the garrison here. So this is all a part of the garrison historic area. A UNESCO where have to say? All Pebbles Beach here. This is all Aquatic Gatno, which is the road leading between the Hilton and the Radisson Hotel at Pebbles Beach. This is known as Aquatic Gap. And you can see all the you can see the colors that shot here, the blue uh, what a shot here. That says the best ham cutters and fish cutters. Cause it's to it through here in here. And the Barbados Cruising Club in the background. And this is the stat a photo of our first Prime Minister, part of independence and national hero. We would excellent uh, Walton Barrow who was the first Prime Minister of Barbados, part of independence, and he's also a national hero. Come back in a southern direction towards the Hilton, Barbados, the Hilton Hotel. The Hilton is over here in a southern direction.
and heading in a northerly direction now towards Bear Street, which will lead you into town. Yes, guys, this is the Radisson Hotel here, which was once Holiday Inn and then previously Grand Barbados. Now it is Radisson. And I'm looking back in a southern direction once again. This is the Radisson Hotel here. And uh, this is the Island Inn Hotel here. Island Inn Hotel. Or oh, the back of the Radisson Hotel. And this is the back of the first church of the Christ Scientist. The first church of the Christ Scientist. Okay. And this is the Brown Sugar Restaurant. You know that's home of sweet Belgian cuisine. The Brown Sugar Restaurant is here, or was here. I'm not sure if the Brown Sugar still operates. I haven't seen it operational since COVID. The brown sugar is known as the home of sweet Belgian cuisine. Anybody watching that knows that the brown sugar is still operational can comment and let me know if the brown sugar restaurant is still in operation. I haven't seen it in operation since COVID. Heading on to be a street now, which is the main artery into the city if you are coming from the south coast. And the building ahead of me is the former Juicy Factory, which used to manufacture juicy drinks JU C, Juicy Pet Drinks, the Carbonated Drinks. The most noted juicy is the red one, the pineapple one, and the banana one. Three of them. Juicy used to manufacture in here first. I think it manufactured either in Jamaica or Trinidad now. So up here will be, will be the Garrison Historic Area and UNESCO World Heritage Site. So lead back to the Garrison and back to the base station power and back to and back to the St. Anne's Fort and Barracks. And the Barbados Latin Power is also here. Barbados Latin Power is our only source of electricity here in Barbados. And it was established in the year 1911. And you can see the Rubis gas station here, which was once Texaco. And you can see the Christian Science reading room here, right next to the Texaco gas station and the light of power. And this is the exotic was limited and the farm in the farmer juicy factory. And this is the uh, total laundry and the cleaning services.
and this is the BSI Plaza which is owned by the Tani group of companies it has a lot of restaurants in it at first it was boutiques now it is mainly restaurants in here that's yes, there's BSI Plaza here Ponsetia Mart and this is the Indian Grill restaurant here Indian Grill and I'm now approaching the Barbados Yacht Club the wall for the Barbados Yacht Club and now approaching the Salbanians Yacht Station which was once Shalbanians Up here, entrance at Bay Street. This is the Barbados Yacht Club here. Walking down Bay Street. Bay Street is in their artery into the city if you are coming from the south coast this would be the route to use to get into town if you are coming from the oysters here stains the world in St. Lawrence Gap or anywhere along that way you can use this road to get into town This road through here is Chelsea Road. That will lead back to the paddock, to the garrison, for the horses to sleep. Let's go looking up to the Chelsea Road, which will lead back to the paddock, to the garrison, and back to the Bearland area. And this is the Shell Star Gas Station, which was once Shell Banyans. Shell Banyan used to be here years ago. Shell Banyan Gas Station. But all the Shell Gas Stations in Barbados have been sold over to Sol. Sol stands for Simpson R Limited. for the Barbados Yacht Club and this is the this is the restaurant here and this is the Clifton Apartments which the stand fire some years ago and then it was rebuilt and then now it is a restaurant so this is Bay Street here this is the near artery into the city this is the break room sports bar or restaurant here Straker Marketing Company
So this is Bear Street. St. Michael. Okay. And this is the coffee, Bear Side restaurant here. This is a Guyanese owned restaurant. Not a lot of beach apartments, and this is also a part of the Garrison Historic Area. And the next floor will help this site. This is one of the opportunities for Pikes Square, which is the Bay of Barbados. So, this is Bay Street. Now, a portion of Bounce Beach, which is also a part of Carla Bay. Old Government Information Service Building, which was once the Street Boy School, and this is another pathway to Bounce Beach. So this is the Old Government Information Service Building. And next door is the Prime Minister's Office. This is the Police Boys and Girls Club here. And this is the Old Government Information Service Building. Over here, it seems to be a basketball tournament or something. Here, seems to be a basketball tournament. This is the Prime Minister's office and government headquarters next door and this is the former government information service building that was once be a street boy school where all national heroes for Gaffey Sorbage received his primary education. That's good. And this is all about speech here. This is a part of the Charles Bay area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So back up the walls. Bay Street. That's good. Prime Minister's office here and government headquarters. And the former government information service building. Over here. And this is the Bear Street Esplanade here at Bear Street. Esplanade here. Prime yeah. yeah. Minister's office here. Also a part of Carla Bay. Look 
can buy in a southern direction to watch the Hilton and Radisson Hotel and Pebbles Beach. Off Bear Street here, and the Bear Street Esplanade over here. Bear Street, St. Michael. And this is the Prime Minister's office here and government headquarters. Over here. And this is the statue of our national hero, Sir Granny Herbert Adams, who is who was the leader of the Caribbean. I mean the leader of the government. Prime Minister of Barbados, and Premier of Barbados from 1946 to 1958, and Prime Minister of the West Indies from 1958 to 1962. The statue was carved here on National Heroes Day, which is here for 20 years. And here for 20 years, it's also the first year of Sir Granny Adams. So Sir Granny Adams, the statue was unveiled on National Heroes Day, and the statue was carved by local sculpture, Carl Bodhiega who was a Guyanese born Barbadian sculptor and he's also sculpted the Busser statue, the Emancipation statue which is the one down, one up at Sky Mall by the, by the roundabout, the Buster roundabout Car but here going to sculpt that one as well as this one Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.